Sell-off continues. We're down 380. That's one and a half percent on the Dow Jones average. It's even worse on the Nasdaq. Big tech dragging down the whole market. Look at them go down. Red arrows across the board. David Barnson back with us. Dave, look, look on the screen. Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet, Microsoft, all beaten down. Are any of them worthy of a buy now? Obviously, that depends, Stuart, on context for the investor and the diversification they need and their goals. You know all that. And, and so I say it not as a little like have to qualifier. I say it because it's very important. What people are buying has got to be relevant to their particular situation, not just what we think is going to happen in the next week or month. Now, fundamentally, do I think there's a deeper value in Apple than I do Amazon? As I've talked about on your show many times, I do. That doesn't mean Amazon can't go higher from here. At some point, more money could come back into Amazon. But for Amazon to go higher, we saw with the earnings numbers last night, it gets priced for utter perfection and then gets priced above perfection, whatever that means. <laughs> and when there's the slightest bit of bad news, it doesn't drop a, a couple bucks. It gets pummeled. We've seen it with Netflix this month, and Netflix didn't have a bad quarter. Netflix had a great quarter, was up, I think, 10% initially after their earnings, has given all that back and then some. So my point in answering your question is that there's value with stocks like Apple that traded a reasonable multiple that have actual cash flows and a great balance sheet, tons of money in the bank to fund expansion. They're not living off of momentum. Okay. That's, that's the way we're approaching technology. That was a solid answer, and we appreciate it. Mr. Bonson, we'll see you again next week. Thanks for being here today. Thank yes, you, sir. sir. All right. Thank you.